Hi there everybody, Bush Baby here. And Frenderman. And we're here to do kind of a tutorial. And I know I don't do those that often, because usually I don't have much to tutorialize, I guess. But I went looking for a flower farm, because as you know, you know, if you watch our channel, you know we're doing our own Let's Plays, and flowers are becoming an important thing in our uh, world right now. Yep. And we have a flower shop now that we need to desperately stock. And unfortunately, that's not really all that easy. You know, you got a flower biome and stuff like that. But you have to go out and you pick flowers on your own. So I decided to go looking for tutorials on YouTube. And can you believe that there's not a single one that's not manual? Like manual, manual? Um, so I decided to take it upon myself to create this. Now, I know that this is kind of very... Well, it's a redstone behemoth is what it kind of looks like. But it's actually very simple. And I'm going to give a quick look in the underbelly right here. And we're going to come up and fly around here. And what I'm going to do while I kind of explain this is I'm going to show you about how fast this churns out items. We've got nothing in here. And we've got full bone meal in here. And over here, the first thing you do to turn on this machine, you just flip the lever. Simple. And then press the button. Simple. Easy. Now, along with being, holy crap, along with being a flower machine, this is a very great noise machine. But as you can see, it has its own kind of rinse and harvest cycle. But Bush Baby, how does it work? Well, here we go behind here. The flip here is actually the on and off switch. And I want to just, I want to give a little rundown of this thing while this is going so that when I check the flowers and stuff, you can see how much it turns out. Um, this runs down to here, which pushes up this block and com completes the signal. And it also pushes down this piston here, which uh, completes this signal. This is the on and off mechanism. When it's turned off, this makes it so that all the power drains out of the entire mechanism. Uh, otherwise, you have kind of issues with timing balance. If you unload the chunk, it will cause the timing to either get shorter or completely fill up. So you would have to come and break a piece of redstone here. Um, and I'm going to do everybody a small favor just quick. And I'm going to turn the sound like entirely off. There we go. At least for now. And I'm going to turn those back on again. Now, what happens is this pulse keeps coming over here. You know, it meets up here, goes through this block. Oh, and it hits right what just hit me. Completes this, goes down here. It turns off. It turns on the water and it turns off the pistons on the side or vice versa. So that's basically the nitty gritty of it. It sounds very complicated, but surprisingly, when you build it, it's not really that bad. It's pretty resource heavy depending on how you take resource heavy to be, but this is about what you're going to expect to build with. Um, I had to make some estimations on a few things, but I think the most important things to note is going to be that these numbers are about right, right here. These might be an overestimation. This is definitely an overestimation. And if you want to add additional blocks, you can half slab over these and it'll still collect the flowers. So all of that's basically the stuff that you're going to work with. And I'm going to leave that up on the TV just real quick or on the screen, technically. And you can pause, get together all of that stuff. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to switch this off. Now, there's a couple of things to note about this. As you can see, I just picked up a flower. There is a little bit of waste involved in this. Unfortunately, that's the balance that you get when it comes to an automatic machine. No automatic machine is 100% uh, without waste. But this is a 99% completely automatic, absolutely no actual input from you after you push the button and the lever, aside from to put bone meal in the machine. Now, this is how much bone meal we used. Three whole stacks and plus some. Uh, three whole stacks, and it looks like about half a stack. And that's what we get out of it. That is not bad at all. Now, you're going to get a lot of seeds, so let's go ahead and take all the seeds out of there. And these are the flowers that we have left. That's a great trade-off. 
So if you're hurting for seeds, this is also going to be a pretty good thing for you. But if you're not, I mean, you can just toss the seeds, breed chickens, do whatever you want to do. But I'm going to go ahead and we're going to come on over here and I'm going to get into this whole, whole tutorial thing. because it's... So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to carve out a 12 by 6 with the 6 being on this side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then over here, starting with this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then you do that the whole way around. This is the maximum amount a piston can move, is this entire line right here. The pistons are going to go on this side, so we're going to grab the pistons. You're just going to use regular pistons for this. And oh, make sure that they're pointing the right way. And you're not being a big doofus like I am. And over here, you're going to need to carve one more back. All right. Now over here, we're just going to go ahead and set up our pistons like this. This step comes later, but we're going to... Actually, we need one more piston right here, I just remembered. Now back here, you want to build or break out three or two rather if i could actually count that'd be terrific and now let's see we're going to get all of these because this is the next step of everything Boop. and of course you're not going to need to actually use iron blocks but iron blocks have those nice smooth clean edges so if you need to stop for any reason to actually count blocks um that's going to actually help you out a little bit Now, you're going to want to pick a side here. There's actually no clear center for this. <coughs> the only thing you want to make sure is from this back row, make sure that there's actually six rows here. You want to come out by three, and we're going to probably... No, actually, it's three from the front, so we're going to put it down about here. We're going to put this here, and we're going to keep that up just for a minute. So the reason you need to come out by a few... Because you need to come from the underside, and you're going to need to build down by about three. And this area right here, you're going to need to keep that there. Make sure you got yourself a nice little escape tunnel. Oh, well, that's too far. Alright. And carve a good area out of here. And again, I'm going to do everybody that's actually watching this a small favor. Get myself some night vision because we're going to be down under here for a minute. I don't want anybody to miss anything. Now, you go down by this, this, and this. Then carve out this way. Now, I'm going to be the first to admit that there's probably a much easier way of actually doing this. But since I don't know it, I'm not going to use it. And we're going to put here and here. And take your redstone torches. And don't do what I just did because that was dumb. Here, here, and the same on here and here. Now this is going to get very annoying very quickly. But what you want to do... Is build a T like that. Now, if you hear that clicking, it means that you're doing a good job. It means that that is exactly what you want to hear. In order to kind of dumb this down or get rid of that clicking, though, what we're going to do is we're going to put that right there and we're going to turn that on just to make sure that you don't get annoyed by that freaking clicking because that's going to be in your head for a while. Now, off the back of here, you're going to need to put one more piece right here and... This is going to be your water trough. This is going to be where all of your nice little water bits sit. If you don't want to do buckets of water, you're also going to need some ice. But if you don't have ice, then, you know, buckets of water will do. Now, this you don't need to worry about. This is going to be extended. And we're going to go ahead and actually do that right now and finish that off just so that we don't have that weirdness just kind of sticking out in the middle there. We're going to come down by one, down by two, and hopefully you should be able to just continue on to the other side. Like 
this. Oh. And here is one very, very important thing. You do not want it to come off of this. If you have it come off of this, it's going to give you all kinds of problems. It's going to throw the timing off. So what you want to do is after your voice stops breaking like a prepubescent pre teenager, you want to put a few pieces of dust. It, it really doesn't matter. You know, just make sure there's a repeater in there so that the power gets... That's a comparator, honey. That's a comparator. There you go. And we're just going to finish that off. And what you want to happen, brace yourselves, everyone, is that cacophony of nonsense. Now, everything is kind of glitching at the moment. And I'm going to turn this off again because, holy crap, is that so very loud in my ears. And we're going to do the exact same thing over here on the other side. finish her off. There we go. All right. Now, one more time into the thick of things. This is basically what you want to see. Now, you're going to notice that there's a little bit of a problem over here that's a very easy problem to solve. That just means that I forgot to put in one more piece of dirt that covers up that dispenser. So, we're going to break that, put that Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, we're off to the... All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up the water mains. And the water mains is really not that hard. If I can just possibly fly, that would be super terrific. There we go. And then we're going to put in a row of blocks here. The important thing to make sure is that when you put these blocks up, you don't block off any redstone. You see what I did there? Block. Haha, <laughs> -ha, jokes. I have bad ones. Now, on here, just going to do that, and on here you're going to do that, and you're going to fill up this entire row with nothing but repeaters, and then the back row with nothing but redstone. Um, let's see, this is not right. Occasionally, I get my own redstone wrong, so, well, that's just something that you have to deal with when you're a Minecrafter. There you go. And Bob's your uncle, there we go. Now... Everything is set up to actually be hooked up to the back of, well, everything. The only thing that we actually have left now is the delay, the, basically the signal itself, and then this nifty little pulse kind of thing, whatever the hell you really want to call it. So that's the thing that we're going to get into next. All right, so the next thing you want to do is throw that there and that there. And for right now, we're just going to go ahead and lead a redstone line off of that. We're going to do the same thing down here, but here it's going to be a little bit different. Take your comparators, and this is going to be a very simple redstone delay. You want five on each side. It leads back into each other. And actually, now that I look at this, we might actually want to move that over by about one. So that's what we're going to do. Throw that there, there. Uh, I'm derping. There we go. And we're just gonna do the same thing back here. Make sure that it's let off. Make sure you get rid of that, that. And for right now, go ahead and flip that lever. You're not gonna need to use it right now, but right here, finish that line off with that, and then connect these two lines together. Now, this is where the redstone can get a little bit dodgy, but there are one right here. This is going to lead to a block that's right here. Now, under here, by a couple, you want to put your first of three sticky pistons. And I believe that's up. That's actually up just a bit too much. Bloop. All right. Off the side of that, we want to put some redstone dust. And then up here, 
And we're going to go ahead and just continue this line back here for just a moment. This is going to lead off the side to here. So, right there, we want... This is going to be the one that goes off there. This goes into there. Alright, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've mapped this out for, well, everybody else and for my own. Because, to be completely honest with you, I was starting to get turned around by my own redstone. Go figure. Now, come up by one, bridge out by a couple, and then out by about that. Go up. We want a block that, or we want a repeater that comes off of this block. And we want a second sticky piston. Don't mind what's up there. Just keep on the ground. There we go. We want a st second sticky piston that's actually right there. Now, it kind of looks like I've actually built this just a little bit too close together, but that's not too bad. Uh, we put this right there, and I believe we could just put that right there, and it should have about the same effect. Now, right along this line, um, just keep in mind that this goes facing this way, and we want to continue on. Now, this whole row is going to need 13 repeaters, and where each of these gold blocks is, you could either have a spot of redstone, or you can actually have an entirely full block. It depends on what it is that you want. If you've got an overabundance of dirt, you can just put a piece of dirt there. For the sake of things, I'm going to go ahead and just use a piece of redstone. But that's all you want to do is keep that line, continue, not the comparators. In fact, just so I stop getting confused about that comparator, let's get the hell out of here. There we go. And back this way, not there. And back this way. And it should meet right up to there, where this block is the thing that actually gets the whole thing done. Alright, so everything that you have should look roughly about this. We want to make sure that there's no cut off in the line right here. And for right now, we're just going to continue this. Now what you need here is you need that. Come down like this. Come off to the side. And then just join those two lines up together. And what should happen is when you flip this leather, both go one goes up and the other goes down in the off position. And there you go. Now, of course, you want to make sure that all of these are on maximum tick. All right. Now that that's done, off of this block right here, you want another repeater. You want the third of your sticky pistons. Make sure that it's pointing forward. Block. Dig down by one, and we're going to put a redstone torch just under the ground. And from here, it's really just a matter of connecting everything up. You want one repeater like this, one repeater like this. This goes into a block that has a torch. And right now, you're going to have to bear with the sound, but we want, we want it to look like that. Then from here, one little piece of redstone. Now, this should, this should be completely finished. Um, aside from having decoration and everything like that, we're going to go ahead and check this out real quick. You turn it into the on position, which means that all the pistons should be locked where they need to be locked. You press the button. We watch this. And this is going to take all the signal around there. It's eventually going to drain the signal out of that. And there we go. Now, there's only a couple more small things that you need to do. It's, the rest of it is really fairly simple. I don't believe we need any more of this. Now, what we do need is this and this. And you can go ahead and decorate it however you want. We want to just get rid of that. Like, we want that to stop immediately because that is very, very large. Uh, keep in mind, sometimes the pistons are going to glitch out a little bit. It's not something that can really be helped. But it'll drain itself out eventually. The next thing that you want to do is remember where about you had your, ah, uh, let's see, the dispenser. We want to find that again. And off one side of the dispenser, which side is that dispenser actually on? Oh dear. Wow. Okay. So it turns out that the dispenser is right here. We want to dig up by one. And the really, really important thing to remember is whatever you break under here, Make absolutely certain you fill it back in. If you don't fill it back in, you're going to end up with a lot of loose drops down here. So we want to just break our way up here. 
you could do this before you even get to this point if you want, but you want to take this all the way off to the side to about right here. And that's where you're going to fill, uh, put in your hopper line for where you're going to be able to fill in all of your bone meal. What is happening? I'm not flying. There we go. Once you hit here, just dig forward till you find the end. That should be about it. Well, I'm going way too far. I don't know why I just kept digging that way. the ground and you're just going to want to put your chest for bone meal right there and we'll go ahead and throw some bone meal actually in there and throw that down there oops haha <laughs> there we go all right as you can see it's filtering through perfectly fine no kind of problems we're going to come down here real quick and just kind of make sure that it's going through. See? Everything's going through fine. Seal this back up. Pick that back up. Because we're going to need that next. And the next thing we want to do is just... Water bucket. Everywhere. Everything water bucket. It'll stop here at the edge. And now the very, very last thing that you need to do... Seal that up. Ah, and as you can see, it's going right in there. No problems. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Now dig out by a couple, and you're going to see why a couple in a moment. Chest number one, chest number two. Two hoppers into the back of the chest. Same thing here. And... The entire row of hoppers just like that. And we're going to throw another glass, grass block down there just real quick. And just to show that this actually does work. Okay, there we go. For some reason, the bone meal was not getting through the dispensers. Huh. Or into the dispenser. I, be Ooh. I believe it may have just been a lag issue. I'm not really sure. Uh, there is quite a bit that goes on in this world, to be honest with you. I mean, eventually I'm going to kind of talk about what's up there, but we also have some targets over there. So sometimes it just kind of goes a little bit funny. If it goes funny, you might just have to wait for it for a few minutes. But as of right now, this is essentially done. Now, when I said that it's mostly waste-free, well, down here you can see that there is definitely some waste. But what you want to do is you just want to close up every available place that stuff might be able to fall down. The more you minimize the amount of space there is for stuff to fall into, the better for you. And after that, it's all really just a matter of decoration. It's a matter of what it is that you want to decorate it with. Uh, my suggestion would be to not mess with the redstone too much so that the water is always off. Because this will completely eradicate spawning in there. If you make it three high, you'll end up with endermen that spawn in here. And they might start stealing your grass blocks, which means you're going to have to go in here. You're going to have to fix it. And just like over here, everything is meant to be a self-contained system. You're never meant to have to go in here to do anything. And that's the reason why it's only two blocks tall and the water is constantly on. It's a safety measure to make sure that mobs don't spawn in there. So this has been kind of a messy tutorial. I know that I, I did come into this as prepared as I possibly could, but of course I do have my nervousness issues. And sometimes my redstone genius is, well, non-existent. And by sometimes, I mean all the time. Watch out. <laughs> now, there are a couple of small things to actually keep in mind with this. And I want to tell you all now before people think that this is unusual behavior. Um, before you build this, make absolutely sure you know where you're building it. Now, that kind of sounds obvious, right? 
But as I found in my survival world, um, well, not all flowers grow in the flower biome on the exact same piece of land. You could have a situation where you won't be able to grow red tulips or uh, white tulips in the exact same place. You may need to build at least three of these in your world. That's exactly what uh, I've had to do for with Frenderman, Frenderman's world and my own, you know, our world, whatever. I'm tongue-tied. I can't help it. Now, there's one other small issue that you're going to want to know, and that is sometimes this machine can get clogged. Since the thing is moving at such a fast rate that it's starting to glitch things under the ground, it's also glitching things down into the hoppers that are just under the grass. There are going to be some times where you're going to see that your machine is spitting out flowers or seeds or something like that. That's completely normal, in fact. You might even want to let it do that. In a flower biome with so many flowers being pushed into the hoppers at once, sometimes the hoppers in the front can get completely clogged up and you can't accept any more into it. What you want to do then is you just want to let the machine run and go ahead and let that stuff all drain out. There's no emergency draining system that's involved in this. It's just let the thing spit stuff out until it gets finished. Eventually it'll get back into the bone meal and most likely you're going to let the hoppers up front. Just go ahead and suck up anything that it hasn't sucked up since. Uh, the reason why you want to have this one out is just because you probably either want to block this part up like this... Or maybe you want to put glass on this side. But if you want to put glass on this side, you actually don't need to move that up by two hoppers. You can just go ahead and put the chest right here. You can put glass on top of it. Everything will be perfectly fine. But all in all, that's basically all there is to this. Sometimes it can get a little bit sticky. But thanks, now that I've managed to figure out how to do this particular little bit and kill off this, it's pretty much just a two-switch primer system that will really let you farm flowers until you run out of bone meal. And before anybody worries too much, no, the water is not going to glitch down through the blocks. The water is actually perfectly fine up there for whatever reason. Even though the flowers will glitch down through the blocks, the water actually won't. So you don't have to worry too much about that. But I think that's just about it. Um, I hope that this tutorial helped anybody, and I'm sorry for the choppy way it is. I actually do have kind of nervousness issues, and kind of things start to get a little bit rocky when I start feeling a little bit unsure of myself. But thankfully, that's what rewind and pause and everything like that's for. I think we may actually be seeing the backup right here. Yeah, as you can see, flowers are starting to get spit out of there, but like you can see, it's... Working just as well, you don't have to worry about it. The timer will go ahead and just push everything off so you don't have to worry about it. But thank you very much for joining me. And if you do decide to build this in your world, you know, you don't absolutely have to give me credit for it. I mean, the only thing I really came up with was how to put the mechanism together. The shifting floor, the water rinsing, all of the redstone mechanics, those have been done time and time again by... All kinds of other Minecrafters that are a hell of a lot better at what they do than I am. But I'm just happy if somebody creates this. And if you do, let me know down in the comments below. I'll even accept links to your videos if you happen to, you know, use them in there. And that's really just about it. Tell me how it is that you're going to use your flower farm. Are you going to go ahead and get a bunch of dye? Or do you just want a bunch of flowers in your world? I'd love to know. Go ahead and let us know in the comments below. And... Thank you very much for Frenderman joining me. I know that he didn't exactly do anything in this, but he was here for company and to keep me from ripping my hair out when the Redstone didn't want to do what he wanted to do. Calm, Bush Baby, calm. <sighs> so, this has been Bush Baby. And this has been Frenderman. <laughs> Saying, have fun. And Bush Baby loves you. <laughs>